Hello, and welcome to 8020's Extreme DIY. My name's Andrew, and today we're going to show you how to build a Project Pal. Now this cart's ideal for quick access and mobile storage. It can be used in several different ways, but today we're going to show you how it's ideal for scrapbooking and craft enthusiasts. So join me as we build this versatile solution from 8020. Thank you for joining us for this month's Extreme DIY. I'm Phil, and today we're going to build the Project Pal. This handy cart can be used to store, organize, and move your tools and supplies. We're going to build it with 8020's 10 Series. 10 Series lends itself well to this application because it's sturdy and the T-slots allow you to add additional components and make modifications down the road. So as you can see, we have all of our parts laid out, we verified that we have everything we need, and now we're ready to go. All right, looks good. What's our first step? Okay, so the top and bottom of this cart are pretty similar. Okay. So we're going to build them both at the same time. All right, let's get started then. Excellent. Now that I have the top section done and he's got the base done, what's next? All right, Andrew, we're ready to start on the main portion of the body. For this, we're just going to take our longer bars and secure them to our base using our end fasteners. All right, I set the top portion off to the side and I'm going to help Phil line up these bars. All right, perfect. All right, as you can see, we've got our vertical bars into place and we're ready for our supports. That's right, Andrew. These supports not only hold our shelves, but also brace our vertical bars. We chose these profiles because they're small, lightweight, and have a flat surface that our panels will rest on. All right, once we have those into place, we're ready for our base plates and our swivel casters. Once we have those installed, we're ready to move our project to the floor. All right, we've got our supports in and we're ready for our panels. Now these panels rest on the profile surface, so the installation should be a breeze. All right, while he's putting those into place, I'm gonna put in our side panels. And for this, we're gonna use two different kinds of panels. The first one is 8020's new pegboard. It's gonna allow us to hang our popular tools on the outside of the cart. The other one is a thinner panel that we've adhered a magnetic film to that we picked up at a local home improvement store. Now these simply slide into the open T-slot, and once those are installed, we're ready for our top portion. All right, so now that we have everything in place and ready to go, we're ready to install the top portion of our cart. All right, I got the top portion right here. We're just gonna line it up over the cart. Okay, now that we have everything in place, all we need to do is tighten this down and we're ready to wrap things up. Sounds good. We were just about finished up with our project, pal. All that is left to do is polish off a few things. I'm going to start by putting on some end caps. These will help give our cart a clean, finished look. While I'm doing that, Andrew is going to install some panel gasket. All right, the panel gasket is going to cut down on vibration and noise while the cart's in motion. Now when you're installing it, you simply start from the middle and work your way out. Once we have all that installed, we're ready to put our project pal to use. As you can see, our project pal is now finished, we have it loaded up, and it's ready for use. Whether for scrapbooking, crafting, or many other storage and organizational purposes, you can be sure that this cart will make it easier for you to transport your stuff. Now, this cart also lends itself to 8020 Quick Frame as a lightweight, easy to assemble alternative. Let's take a look at how easy it is to build the same project using the Quick Frame system.
there you have it. We've shown you two ways to build this cool, handy project pal. We want to thank you for joining us on another segment of 8020's Extreme DIY. We hope you've enjoyed this simple solution, and we look forward to seeing you again next time. For more information on this project, or if you'd like to design and build your own cart, please visit 8020.net. And while you're there, please make sure to subscribe for future 8020 videos. And as always, make it a great day. Thank you.